What's up guys, Jack the Dab Lab here. Sorry. I'm at uh, Tesla Glassworks right now because my buddy Skoweed over here is making a goblet for Champ's class bikes. We're just gonna check in with him, see what he's working on and hopefully capture a little bit of the process of making a, a goblet. Yeah, we see you. What up? How many champs have you submitted to in the past, would you say? Oh man, I do roughly five a year. For how many years, would you think? Uh, for the past seven years, at least. Damn. What's something different or unique about this goblet that you're trying to do? Well, it's gonna be or like mildly sculpted. Sculpted, okay. Like, where are you yeah. supposed to? <laughs> it, it'll, it'll be a, a basic goblet. I guess that is it. I'm a... Uh, setting up some ribbon cane prep, getting this flat piece ready to stripe up with color. It'll have a two color pattern. So one side will give you one pattern and then the opposite side will give you a different pattern. You're gonna put the two halves together eventually? Yes. So this is one And half. you're like putting the design on the inside of it? Yep. Okay, badass. And then the, uh, the clear on the outside creates a lens so it like magnifies okay. it. And Makes it look a lot crisper. So all this is called cane, right? Uh, these are rods. Uh, What's the difference between rods and a cane? Cane is technically worked rods, uh, okay. stretched out with patterns. Okay, so rods are the raw Rod, form. Rods are raw, cane is artistically manipulated. Can you share with us any of the colors that you're gonna be working with today? They're actually the ones stacked up on the, the marble pad right here. So everything- All of those? Yeah. What? I mean, it's, it's a fairly simple technique, but it's like, it's one of my favorites. So do you have both halves right there or is that just one half? This is one half. I have okay. the other half uh, pre-made heating in the kiln. It's already got color on it? No. Oh, okay. So, only one side will actually get the color. That's actually- And then you're just gonna sandwich it? Yeah, the other half is just the other lens. Sure. And I usually like to do like kind of a bright pattern on one side and then something a little bit uh, more neutral or dark on the opposite side. And this side is uh, opaque aqua, timber green, and aqua mist. Right now I have to check what color this is. So I pull it really thin uh -huh. and I hold it up to the light. Cause yeah, like a dark blue will almost look the same as black, huh? Yeah, and I'm looking for black, which black are either blue, brown, or uh, red base. And this is actually sense. a very dark purple black. Okay. Super interesting hearing Scoey here talk with Tesla about like some of the process of submissions. Like you can use prep work from other people as long as you have video of them making it and stuff like that. There's all this stuff that goes into like competitions like this that you know you have no idea about unless you're actually a glass player. But we're gonna check in with him here in a couple hours to see where he's at. Five hours later. <laughs> Just got done hanging out with my buddy Zach there. Now we're back at Tesla Glass Works. How's everything looking, Scoey? We're basically at the same spot when, when you left four hours ago, but. You say that, but it looks, that didn't look like that when we were here, so. No. My plan changed, so I turned it into a tube. This is actually gonna be some of the, the colors of the piece, so it, it has uh, some hand-mixed orange that I made a little bit brighter. It looks really pretty. I can see the color coming out there at the top. Mine has the purple, that line has the orange, that line has the purple. That's epic. That looks crazy. So what, what are the parts? This will actually be part of the cup. Okay. So it'll be part of the, the vessel. So what's next on the goblet for you? Uh, next I have this uh, orange color in here. My handy dandy grabbers. Pull out our color here. I'm gonna stick this together real quick. So now we got a blow handle hooked up to our tube. Okay. Close off that other end and... and now you can blow it. That'll be my ability to shape. So now I'm just closing up that big open end, dragging over molten hot glass. 
Now it's all sealed off and the color's pulled mostly evenly at the end. It's all just getting it like even enough to work. Gotcha. Yeah, because it has to be perfectly even because when you blow air into it, the air is being distributed evenly. So if it's not even, you'll have like weirdness. Weird shapes. Yep, wonk, it'll get all wonky. That makes sense. You make it even by like spinning it on that piece of steel or whatever. Uh, this is glass. No, this guy. Oh, yeah, so this is the torch. So, sounds like he's got a lot of work ahead of him. Next time we check in, it'll probably be at Chips. We'll see you there. <laughs> I got into Champs Games. He snuck in. I used your name for clout. Well, it <laughs> worked did, too. I, they, they're I like, did, who's the glass for? I was like, Scoby. Yeah. And they're like, I'll just go eat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dude. I do that too. I show up at shows and I'm just like, I'm Scoby. And they're like, never heard of you. And I'm like, dude, ask somebody. I'm Scoby. Mm -hmm. And then eventually they let me in. Oh, Same. It's a good, uh, <laughs> dude, I drove up here. I drove an hour up here not knowing I would be able to get into this event. So I was just like, fuck it, send it. <laughs> but we made it. Yeah. What's your name? Rocky Jack. Yeah. That's the gummy for. Dude, these are awesome. So, 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 thank you so much. He's awesome. So, so I got a that we came here for. So, you made two? Oh, you made both of those? Yeah, yeah. Where are you supposed to? Because I see Windstar also, dude. So, they're, they do a deal. They, if you if you make one, you can get paid for it, or you can get a ticket to be in the drawing to, to pick someone else's cup, or okay. whichever cup you like. And if you make two, you can get paid and also get a ticket to be in the drawing for a cup. Okay, so you by making two, you basically get paid and get to win one. Yes. Win a random cup. Damn, that's pretty awesome. Dude, I see that Matt's so, there. Oh, dude, that's functional. Yeah, that's insane. No, no. Yeah, I'm, you put I'm his on that wall. Like a son of a bitch. Yeah, that's so fucking cheating. <laughs> I know you're trying to like that. That's awesome. Uh, wow. Uh, wow. Uh, wow. Is one of my favorites. I really like the wine work on this left one. This is so good. Pan the Man did a really good one. Wow. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm like, is that within the size of I like those. Look at the detail on these. Like, it's so fucking clean and crisp. Yeah. Make sure he's not standing behind me while it's saying. Fucking crazy too. Oh my god. My oh boy Emerson. That's the one that I'm gonna pick if I get the chance. Oh yeah. Whoa. This set is insane. Oh yeah, Glassman fucking kills you. That's chainsaw over there. This is really cool. What the fuck are these? Oh, they're millies. Yeah, those are crazy. Yeah, so these are like sections, components of the millie, yeah. and then he builds them into like the rest of the face. So like he takes these eyes, puts them onto the face, and then builds the rest around it. That's a, what is that, a decanter? Yes, it's a decanter with the fucking whiskey uh, snifter set. It's all the bottom of it. Okay, yeah, that base is resin, that makes sense. So, yeah, he does the uh, bong -thon. There's Tesla. So this is a business to business expo where there are basically tables and vendors for anything you could imagine being sold in a smoke shop or dispensary or head shop. So there is a lot going on here. I am super excited to just scour all these booths and start doing laps and figure out what all is going on. Scoey wants to go out and find a place to smoke. Yeah, I, I kind of want to check shit out first. There's a lot going on here though, and I don't want to be here too late because I do want to stream Minecraft. <laughs> I got to stream an episode of Dabcraft today. But I might be going home a little later than I anticipated because now that I'm in here, I'm super stoked and I really want to go schmooze with some people. I got business cards to hand out. I want to make some friends, make some moves maybe, you know? Let's see who we can meet.
Yeah. I mean, Check this out. Yeah. yeah. You've got One of the glass blowers for the blueberry. Yeah, it's bubbling it out. Is it Good. Good. I'm like, like uh, mess with some water in the back. Sure, yeah. sure. Mycoline, nice. Yeah. So these are all the blue one looks the yummiest. Yeah, the blue ones. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little intense because a little intense. It's like no psilocybin, but it's the closest thing to it. Okay. Huh? And that's uh, no delta, no synthetics, no 4 ACO GMT. Uh huh. Our old proprietary mushroom with alkaloids that we added on to give it a. The most okay. natural feel, all natural extract. Very interesting. That's the gummy form. Dude, these are awesome. So, so, thank you so much. Thank you so much. These are our three specific gummies. Okay. So 10 milligrams of THC per gummy, and each gummy is going to have a specific, uh, specific strain to attach to it. Oh, wow. I'll give you some samples. Dude, I would love. Uh, thank you. Know what, I mean? what is all of no, these are just no, no, no. These are cannabis no. gummies, yeah. All right, so they're just about to announce the goblet judging, I think. We're all hanging out here. We got Tesla over here to see his work. I know. Pull it on. So, come on. <laughs> that was great. Sorry for making it awkward. <laughs> no, it's great for camera. <laughs> First, he gets a thousand dollars. He goes on to a master's competition where they have a chance to get a twenty thousand dollar check for being sweet. Is uh, Chase Class Smith. <laughs> He goes, which one is this? Fun up here, Bertoni, Winstar, and Shaq Man. Oh, yeah. You just need to snooze more, buddy. Yeah. Bertoni finally won his way in. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. No. Which okay, one are you doing for right now? Third way. Uh, the the skeleton. Or did you yeah, the the uh, double tap by Warwick. Yeah. That's the one I want. Yeah, that's just crazy. Hi. Hell yeah. Hey. 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 hey! Who's going on to the Masters competition for the pretty awesome piece? Matt Z, please come up. Let's go, Matt! Matt yeah. went home! Matt! Are you serious? Let's, Let's go, go man! Yeah. 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 Number for the goblin grab is number thirty-six. Oh, thirty-six! Oh, you are right. 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 Oh, Nice. That's how it goes, I guess. The next number, sorry. No. So, that was Champs Glass Games. I've always wanted to go. I'm really glad I finally got to experience it. The freaking goblet grab thing was really cool. I learned a lot today. I didn't really get into it, but like the whole context of me coming up here. I drove an hour up here. Completely unsure if I would actually be able to get into this event or if Skoey would even like respond to me. Technically only you're supposed to get a badge into this event if you're a buyer, which means a wholesaler, you own a smoke shop or a dispensary or something like that. But I was just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna drive up to Denver. Worst case scenario, I don't get into the event and I just drive an hour back home and I waste two hours of my life. Worst things have happened. But um, I went up to the front and I told them, hey, I'm here to film some video for my, my friend who's a glass maker. The lady was like, what's his name? And I was like, Scoeat Glass. She's like, oh, Scoeat. She actually like recognized him. That's how I got a media badge and was able to get in and do all that stuff I did today. Um, just kind of by, not even like a fake it till you make it. You know, I didn't lie to anyone or I didn't sneak in in any way. I was just like, hey, I was just hoping that I could film some stuff for my friend and it worked out. 
it's uh, it's kind of a scary way to live life sometimes, but uh, it's a fun way because I find that when you take a risk and go for it, you're oftentimes rewarded. I'm going the right way to my car, which I am because I'm not really paying attention right now because I'm vlogging. Another thing I learned today, don't take random drinks at fucking hemp conventions or mushroom conventions because that shit's got me altered a little bit for sure. Like, I'm definitely okay to drive, but I did not necessarily want to feel this way right now. If I could go back in time, I probably wouldn't have drank that drink. But I mean, I'm sure it's loosened me up a little bit, making me have a little bit more of a social, talkative vibe, perhaps. It's making my tummy feel just a little off. It's really fucking warm. Yeah, you've been wearing pants right now, kind of fucking sucks. So yeah, I don't know how much of that I recorded, but got a little project coming up with Dr. Dabber. Super excited. Dr. Dabber Shaman? Oh, what the fuck? What's up, man? Yeah, yeah dude, how are you, bro? What? Yeah. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. I will see you on Instagram. Thank you, Jack. Yeah. How's everything? You Out here in 2015. Okay. Are you still streaming? Sure. Put it up in a head to head face off against the Puff Co. The price point is super smart bundling a hot knife with it. Ah, I love I love business, you know, I love innovation, technology. It's just fun to see it all happening and go down and somewhat get to be a part of it. Overall, today was a huge success. I'm very glad I made it up. And it was fun hanging out with my friends. Go eat. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you get to go to an event like this yourself someday. Stay high, stay happy. Peace out.